I was telling Kayla she should sit here and record with me and be involved. So if she like if her water breaks, we could be like, yeah. all right, we're going. <laughs> Welcome back, episode 13 of the Poor Choices Show, my favorite number. My name is Chris, your host, my co-host, David. Let's hope we can make it through this entire recording. And make some poor choices. A bridge keeps a bridge that's not warm. <laughs> <laughs> might be the cleanest crack we've had so far that was that pretty was good. good well beer time um me or you um you can go with you go with me okay i uh, got myself a mimosa sour so right up our alley by right. dominga dominga yeah that's what it says dominga uh Just dominga no brewery yep. brewing company Nothing. I got New Belgium Brewing Company out of Fort Collins. Or no, out of Asheville, North Carolina. North Kakalaki, as they say. Cool little simplistic can you got there. Dominga. Okay. Oh, so it's called Dominga. Okay. And who brews it? Uh, New Belgium Brewing Company. Okay. We'll give her Kinda. a taste. Just looks like a normal brewski you get at the bar. Let's see. Yeah, I see what they're going for. It's got, you know, the oranginess to it. It's, it's very light. It's not very sour. Um, it's okay. I, I mean, I, does I'll, it taste I like a mimosa? It definitely does. It tastes like a mimosa, but not our type of mimosa, <laughs> if that makes sense. So, so it tastes, you know, like an orange juice mimosa, where ours is more like a champagne mimosa with right maybe a little drop of orange a juice little, in a there. A little dab. Um, like a seven five. It's kind of middle of the road. It's good. It's not bad. It's it's decent. It's decent. Okay, just decent. In the words of you, not mad at it. Not mad at it. I don't know if I coined that one. I just say it a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I've got a. It's by Community Beer Works out of Buffalo, New York. I thought you were going to say Communion. Nah. Well, that'd be wine, right? We'll have to do a wine night. You even like wine? As long as it's not dry, I'm good. Okay. Yeah, it's same. So we'll do like a Cabernet night. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Um, it's a peach ring sour ale. Cool can. Peach ring like the candy. Yeah. Yeah. Let's give her a taste. Another thick looking one. Not as bad as last week. Last week, it looked like it was like just a muck. Yeah, like melted marshmallows. <laughs> yeah. This is real good. It tastes exactly like the candy. Really? Oh, I'm kind of jealous. Yeah, this is delicious. Was that total wine? Mm-hmm. Ooh, okay. I'm going to give it an eight and a half. Ooh. Ooh. That's Damn. good. That's real good. I'm kind of jealous. Mm-hmm. Even the can looks good. When the can looks good and the beer tastes good. Yeah. Yeah. Good job good to you. Stuff. Who who was that by? That was by that was by Community Beer Works out of Buffalo, New York. Oh, old B Town. No, old I don't know if that's what they call it, but I don't think I've ever heard of <clears throat> Buffalo referred to as B Town. B Town. I'm from B Town. Um I see you got your Jerry Jones. Oh no, sorry. Why don't you show the people? And for oh, those Jerry. who are just listening, David has a nice cowboy shirt on that says, Jerry makes me drink. A very fitting shirt, <laughs> to say the Story least. Story of my life. Um, I know we're a little past the times just based off of our recordings and when we release these, but how do you feel all the Cowboys did with their um, their draft this year? Awful. Really? Not good at all? Yeah. So I've seen a lot of, like a variety of grades. Uh, yeah, all the different analysts. Yeah. I've seen I've seen an A minus to a C plus. 
And you guys I, traded in the first round, right? Uh, yeah, like three spots down. Which um, was funny because you traded right before um, to the spot right before Baltimore drafts. So you're right in front of us. And every right. 1.0, 2.0, 3.0, Mel Kuyper, this, that, the other, had us taking us, the Ravens, taking Guyton, the guy you guys took, the offensive tackle. So when you took him, I was like, oh, but that's not supposed to happen because everyone in the world said he's going to be a Raven. Right. Um, so, so I think that was a great pick behind you and you still didn't take him is what you're saying. No, you were in front of us one, even after we traded back. Yes. Uh, okay. Yeah. You traded back to where the <clears throat> lions were. The lions were in front of us initially. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I think that's, I'm not, we'll, we'll go through, we'll break it down. So I'm not, I'm not mad at that pick. No, it's fine. Uh, pick. We need, we need offensive line help. Um, what I had a problem with was that we took, out of the eight picks, we took three offensive linemen. Great. We were horrible running the ball. We need to address that. We didn't take well, the running back. You did, you did address it. <laughs> we you, we you, addressed <laughs> the run blocking. No. Uh, yeah. 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 So that's exactly my point. We addressed the problem on the front end just to not draft a running back. And to Just re-sign. to sign Zeke. Man, I feel so bad for you. <sighs> so Like... I just saw today, actually, he's going to wear number 15. Did you see that? Yeah, good for him. That's probably <laughs> how many yards he's going to get a game. And carries. All of and carries. Average yeah. one, yard of, one yard of carry. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, you know I don't follow college a whole lot, so I don't know anything about these guys. I just look at their positions. Um, right, right. We needed a DN in the second round. Uh, I don't know how much longer we've got DeMarcus, so yeah. I'm not mad at that. Uh, guard center in the third round. Again, which I love his name though. There is it. Is it pronounced D- Bebe? I think it's BB. I have no idea. Or BB. Go with BB. Cooper BB. See, I like Bebe because then I can just kind of hit him with the like. He makes a good block. Like, hey Bebe. Hey, 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 yeah, I, I like it. I just I don't know if that's how he says it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't yeah. think it's up to us. Yeah, that's a good point. No third round pick. We grabbed a linebacker. Not yeah. mad at that. Again, don't know anything about him. Uh, we waited till the fifth round to get a cornerback. I've been saying we need to draft a cornerback for. God knows how long we got Trayvon. I'm still not sold on Deron Bland. I mean, granted, he broke the record, but outside of those interceptions, he, you know, he gave up a lot of yardage. Yeah. So yeah. I, I still think we need secondary help. Uh, sixth round, we took a receiver, Ryan Flournoy. I don't know why. I know why, but I don't know why. Because yeah, and in the last ten of- years, let me let me tell you our. Let me tell you our wide receiver draft picks in the last 10 years. It's better outside than ours, of, I guarantee Outside it. of CD yeah. and Michael Gallup, who was good, but you know fell off with injury and all that. Yeah. We've taken Jalen Brooks, Jalen Tolbert, Simi Fajoko, Cedric Wilson, Ryan Switzer, Noah Brown, and Devin Street. Not great. It's not, not great. great. So I'm sure yeah, this guy's going to end up the <clears throat> Well, thing. he's coming out of Southeast Missouri State. We're talking about the receiver? Yeah, which if you told me that was a school, I'd say it could be. It could be Northwest Missouri State. You know, I mean, just it could be Missouri State. I didn't know that was could be Missouri State. Right. Right. So not happy with it, huh? Like overall. I mean, as best as I can speak to it, not particularly. Uh, Again, I wouldn't be either. I'm happy with the the first round pick. But yeah, it's a good pick. Beyond that. Yeah, I got nothing. It's hard to make a bad first round pick unless you're the Falcons, which people say is a bad pick, but I don't think it is, to be honest. Yeah, it is. Do you you think it is? is. Yeah, because they signed Kirk for four years, paid him all that money. Yeah, Mr. Glass himself. Right, but they're going to have to pay the first-round pick a lot, too. Not for a few years. He's still going to get first-round money. Yeah. Yeah, so they were saying they should have taken... uh, doesn't get hurt, I understand that you want him to sit behind, you know, good granted Kirk Cousins isn't a Brett Favre. Yeah, but you want him to sit behind an experienced guy for a year or two. Well, but from what I understand, that quarter by the time Kirk's contract's up, I'm pretty sure their draft pick's going to be like thirty or like twenty eight or no. Kirk's Kirk's on a three year deal. I'm pretty sure he's a four year deal. I want to say three hundred million. Um, in a four year, hundred and eighty million. Oh Jesus Christ! I also foresee a Russell Wilson scenario with him where Atlanta bites. Atlanta, well, not necessarily just Atlanta bites the bullet as far as paying him and someone else takes him for free, basically, in a couple years when they say Penix is our guy. I could see that happening. You're saying someone trade for Kirk? 
Yeah, so give it a year, maybe two. Kirk gets traded. Atlanta has to eat the eat the contract, kind of like what happened they're, with Russell think, in in Pittsburgh. I don't think they're going to eat that contract. Just to could you never know. I just yeah. that's what I foresee happening. Yeah, so be, I got it. Got it here. Kirk Cousins, four years, hundred and eighty million. Jesus Christ! I could get it if he's. Oh, you know, oh, hold on, hold on. The contract also includes a no trade clause. Ooh. <laughs> All right, I, I retract my previous <laughs> statement of that not being a dumb pick. Uh, it's not great. Let me let me get. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, what's this dude's name? Michael Penix Junior. <laughs> Junior. Yeah, so he's twenty three. So, assuming Kirk rides out his contract, this dude will be twenty seven by the time he starts. Yikes. Yeah, I'm happy for uh, your divisional rivals, Commanders getting. I think Jade Daniels is great. I think he's. They be took a great two quarterback. quarterbacks, right? Could have. I mean, shit, Baltimore took a quarterback. No, they just took one quarterback. Okay. Yeah, the guy we took is probably our, like, <laughs> our next, uh, do you remember, uh, like, Trace McSorley? You know, mm-hmm. he's like that that third string, like, forever backup kind of guy. Yep. Devin Leary out of Kentucky. Okay. Six round. Well, how do you feel about the rest of your picks? Uh, solid. It was, a great, it was a great draft. Yeah. They, they kind of, they don't really force their picks like oh we need this so we're gonna draft it they kind of see who falls best to them. available yeah you're right um, which is the way you're supposed to draft a good way to draft and why they continue to have good drafts um right. but i think we took two corners let me pull it up yeah two corners um the first one being nate wiggins which he ran a sub four three forty um so i could see him being a good special teams guy for us yeah but as far as being physical in the secondary not so much, but you know he's young and time to grow. One, we just took one offensive lineman, but we needed we needed a two or three. Um, so I'm hoping we make some kind of trade or pick up in free agency over the summer. Um, yeah, fourth round receiver, we'll see. Real fast guy out of UNC, uh, Devontae Walker. You guys which, just never learn. Well, we needed somebody that can open him up deep because Zay is more of a cut and go kind of guy. Um, we just don't have that deep threat, so this will at least add that. Well, you don't have bit. that deep throw quarterback. Uh he's he. I mean, we, he got it, the arm, it, but he doesn't have the accuracy. Yeah, but as long as you have that threat on the field, it at least adds that little bit of. Yeah, you know, you know, you can pull a safety or a corner to at least, you know, no one's right. going to leave someone open going deep, so it at least opens some stuff up. Okay, that's fair. Um, my the my favorite part about our draft was the running back we took in the fifth round out of University of Marshall, which Is I was that very a bias favorite. Yeah, big time, big okay. time. Um, well, don't get too excited because he's going to be hurt uh, probably week three <laughs> next year. He'll get he'll get hurt week five. So he got hurt in the senior bowl. <laughs> 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 he he um he suffered ruptured bicep tendon. So. Okay. Uh, yeah. At least it's upper body. But um, from everything I've read about him and, he, and his stats are awesome. I mean, I think he I think I read he led all of NCAA in some kind of stat. I can't remember what it was. I think it was like 25 yard plus runs or it was some kind of decent stat that somebody from Marshall held. And it, it, just, it wasn't in ruptured biceps. It uh, could have been. <laughs> but no, overall, I feel m- more than satisfied with with their draft. OK, they kind of. Couple corners, receiver, linebacker, offensive line, center, safety, running back. I mean, yeah, and random quarterback. Overall, I feel good about it. Feel good about because we have, we have Mister ninety uh, year old Josh Johnson as our backup now. So, Jesus fuck, where's uh Tyler where's, Huntley? Yeah, he's signed. Let me see. I know he's signed. Probably signed. the Chargers. That's where the every Raven went this year. He's a Brown. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. All right. I don't know if it's poor guy or poor them. Uh, a little bit, little bit of both, because you know Deshaun's not going to last, and here comes Tyler to well, Pro Bowl Tyler, Pro Bowl Tyler. <laughs> uh, as long as Nick Chubb can stay healthy, because if can't. Tyler's in the game, all yep. they're going to do is run the ball and do play actions with three yard crossing routes, and it's going to be another Browns season. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. it sure is. Browns will be Browns, and Texans will be Texans. Although they Sorry, look pretty, Sam. pretty good. Yeah, so we'll see. We'll see. Mm-mm-mm. So before we get into our our new segment of asking reddit i figured i would oh. uh expound upon a little bit on the number 13 so being the unlucky number that it is i figured okay. i would just address it a little bit 
It is my favorite number. It was always my number growing up playing sports. And if I had the choice of getting it's a not, number, I always went oh, with 13. We talked about, yeah. But that was because Kurt. It was more, it was my dad's number. Um, he was a big like soft, like men's softball league and that kind of stuff when I was growing up. Um, and he was always 13. And if he couldn't, he'd be 31. And I think I just kind of drew into that. So when I was growing up, I was like, oh, dad's always 13. I'm going to be 13. Okay. Um, Kurt Do you know why that was be, his number? I don't. It's a good question. I'll have to ask him. Um, okay. But that was always his number. Um, and for me, rec basketball, you know, little league, everything. If I had the choice, it was always 13 or 13. Right. Okay. So just based on dad, based on Kurt. I want to be like dad. Yeah. No, not even Kurt. Kurt happened to just, that okay. That was a thing. You Coincidence, know. yeah. Coincidence, okay. yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Do you think that had anything to do with why you chose to like the Rams? Oh, no, that's an up? easy. That's an no. easy answer. That was that was just who was great. It was the, the best team in football. I was okay. eight, nine, ten years old. Like, oh, they're winning. I had right. a Ravens local team that was going like three and 13 every year because, yeah. you know, they're a brand new franchise. Yeah. So you wanted to watch someone who won and root for them and pretend like you liked them, even though you didn't know anything yeah. about them. Um, and then it kind of just kept carrying on where it's like, yeah, the Rams, and they kept doing good. And I kept saying, I like them. Um, yeah. And I'll still root for them as long as they're not playing the Ravens. Absolutely. Hmm. Okay. First, do you know why it's considered an unlucky number? I don't. So I guess there's no, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like confirmed reason, I guess. Okay. But there's, I have a couple commonly believed theories. One of which is that 12 often represents completeness, such as the number of months in the year, uh, the gods on Olympus, signs of the Zodiac, apostles of Jesus, and 13 contrasts with this sense of goodness and perfection. So it's like so does one 11. more, you ruin the... Well, no, because 11, you're not yet to that completeness, and then 13 is like busting. I guess kind of like, uh, like Price is Right rules. Like, you can guess below, you're almost there, but you go over and you ruin everything entirely. Mm. I see where you're coming from. I just, eh, okay. Look, I don't make the rules. Another one is that, and this was, I I cracked up when I read this because of the first sentence. In Norse mythology. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Which is, which is what what fucking... The who, idiot who the said. fuck had read it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it, Eric. He did. <laughs> in Norse mythology, the god Loki was was 13th to arrive at a feast in Valhalla where he tricked another attendee into killing the god Baldur. And then the last commonly oh, believed one I have is in Christianity, Judas, the apostle who betrayed Jesus, was the 13th guest at the Last Supper. So those are the commonly believed theories, I guess. Yeah, but nobody thinks of that. When you say 13 thirteen's an unlucky number, you wouldn't come up with those reasonings. I think social and, and media probably had a lot to do with it. You know, there's Friday the 13th movies, Friday. Well, I think those were created because Friday the 13th was already considered, you know, like a bad luck day, which is based on the fact that 13 is a bad luck number. It's so like it's, it's not like right. people just today – throwing this out there like this is commonly believed stuff for generations now not the not the past few generations i feel like if you asked anybody why is 13 unlucky nobody would say answers that's no, what i'm they saying would, they would agree well what would their answer be they would say what i they said would, i don't i don't know actually why is it but i'm just saying <laughs> right but it, that's what i'm saying it had to stem knowledge. from somewhere no it's not common right. knowledge but these right, are right. the the common theories as to why it is so yeah a couple a couple other interesting things. Uh, I'm sure you know the hotels always skip the 13th floor mm-hmm. because it's considered unlucky. Um, I haven't noticed this, and I don't think it's all of them, but apparently some airlines skip row 13. Really? Yep, which I didn't know. And no, another one that I haven't noticed is that many cities don't have a 13th Street or 13th Avenue. Really? Evidently. And the last My thing I have Watson. on the... Sorry. Do what? Watson? Your dear Watson? <laughs> yeah, you said evidently. That's something strong. Oh. <laughs> evidently, my dear Watson. And the last thing that I have on that is 13 isn't like a worldwide thing. So okay. I have a couple other unlucky numbers from different countries around the world. So in Japan, 9 is an unlucky number. Okay. 
in Italy, 17 is a lucky number, an unlucky okay. number, and in China, four is an unlucky number. Interesting. And in that research, I found that apparently 666 is considered lucky in China. Okay. Which is slightly bothersome, but... Yeah, it's interesting. Well, something to lose on. Damn, so I was going, I was like going to the bathroom, like walking, and I was like, oh, that'd be something really cool to mention or talk about, bring up conversation. And you forgot. And in the 30 seconds that I got back to my chair, I sat down and went, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> when, I, when I worked at Best Buy, I yeah. used to go, so I was, I was what they called a, a CA. It was customer assistant. Okay. Um, and that was basically, like I started out in the media department, which was selling like CDs, DVDs, video games, shit like that. And right. I, guess I was so good at it that they were like, hey, we want you to be like jack of all trades, master of none kind of thing. Walk around right. the entire store and sell a little bit of everything. Oh, sell so, a fridge, sell some CDs, yeah, whatever. Yeah, some TVs, yeah. some computers, this and that. And I can't tell you how many times that I'd be helping someone and they'd be like, um, do you guys have any of these? Like any of this TV or this laptop or whatever? And I'd <laughs> I know go, where in, this the is back, going. I'd go yeah. in the back to check and be like, <laughs> fuck, what did they want? <laughs> how many times do you think like like somebody that works at like Champs or like Foot Locker is like, all right, I got you. Let me go look. And they go back and they go, Bring, fuck. Yeah. What, what did he say? Want? A nine? Did he say a ten? Yeah. Did he say a oh, more, fuck. So it, it was that, and then it was <laughs> I would go back and I would find it, and I like I'd it'd be like a twelve hour shift, and I'd come out with it, and I forgot what they look like, like who I was helping. So <laughs> All right, like, no, that's I'd be, bad. I'd be like wandering out, wandering around with the laptop, like fuck. Which, <laughs> which one of these here? nineteen people? Get, you, get your laptop at, here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so bad, dude. So that's bad. Really, that's really funny. Uh, well, that's that's a great segue into uh, my my ask Reddit that I have. Yeah, hit me with it. So this week on Ask Reddit, the question is: What is something that you might be too good at? Some of the responses were getting things done at the last minute. That's a good some, one. Some of the some of the comments to that were: If it if it wasn't for the last minute, think about all the things that wouldn't get done. Like if the last minute didn't exist, so many things wouldn't get done. That's very true. Another person said fitting leftovers into the absolute perfect size container. Oh, they're too good at doing that. Too good at doing that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there was overthinking. Another one said faking being an adult when I have no idea what's going on ninety percent of the time. I'm pretty. I'm pretty on par with that one. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're pretty on par with this one too. This one. Okay. This one made me think of you. Making up songs for my dog. So I'm going to make you a mixtape one day. I know. You keep telling me that, and I, I ain't received so, it yet. The, here's the weird part, anyone listening. David has four dogs at home. Um, three of them I've known a lot longer than the one, but I still love them all equally. And um, I just, even when I'm at home by myself, I'll just sing a jingle with their dog's name in it. Um, <laughs> or dub over a, an original song with their name and what they like to do, what they like to do, meaning what a dog likes to do, chew on a toy or go outside or whatever it is. Um, you want to give us a taste? Give us a, give us a, an original um, Chris ballad. My favorite is, um, what's the state farm jingle? Like a good neighbor. State farm is there. Oh, I know. Great. I know this one. This, so is, this, this is, is an OG. This is, this is my favorite one. And one of David's dogs, her name is Jolene. Um, That's big one have, since day one. And I always do my songs in my doggy voice, which is like this. This is my doggy voice. Um, <laughs> and um, it's like a good neighbor. Jolene's so pretty. <laughs> and every time I listen to a lot of Pandora, like a 50 year old does. Um, and that's a common commercial to come on Pandora because I'm not paying for Pandora. Fuck um no. And State Farm comes on, and I'll be like in my shower, and it's like like a good neighbor, and I'm just showering away. I'm just like, Jolene's so pretty, <laughs> um, just you know, just just chucking it in there. Um, but lots of lots of songs. I'll, I'll have to come up with some some like full three minute length like lyrics. Yeah. I'll, I'll get you something. You got I'll the you equipment something. for it now, so just send yeah, it my yeah. way. I'll edit it. We'll auto tune it, and we'll make that the, uh, Ooh, the background music for our shorts. I might have to get myself some auto tune, and I'll I'll do some like buy you a drink. Yeah, with like some like I'm buy you a treat. <laughs> yeah, uh huh, uh huh. I'll buy you a bone or something. Yeah, yeah we'll figure I it like out. Uh huh, uh huh. Oh, that's great. All right, so, so what some are, of the some of the other ones. Uh, this <laughs> I it 
there was there was way more of a hole to go down in this one that well, I what's just your didn't answer have the time well uh, let me let me finish through the rest of these okay okay there was way more of a hole to go down with this one than I had time for but one guy said sexualizing wet floor signs the fuck exactly there yeah there was another few hundred comments that I just I don't know another one is retaining use useless information which I feel like we're 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 all pretty good at that. Yeah. Um, we have masturbating. We have, <laughs> we have being blind to red flags. We have eating an entire bag of chips in one sitting, which I can, I can relate to that. Yeah. When I wasn't dieting, I could, I could do that. Yeah. Yeah. And then we had tolerating the highest vibrator setting. Tolerating. I guess some people can't tolerate. I've never personally used one. I don't have a, yeah, my first thought was put that in. Yeah, my first thought was a toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm being honest, <laughs> I don't know what you're doing with yours, but I, I ain't doing right. that with mine. Um, okay, so they're all pretty. I don't know. I that's a there was there was thousands to go. Through. I was I expecting just, I grabbed the first the first more few. specific answers. Those seemed. I mean, like you got towards them towards the end there with the vibrator and all that. Right. But what would your Mine was mine was easy. Reading it, it was immediately the first thing that that came to mind. And if it was an Olympic sport, I would be a perpetual gold medalist. And that is choosing the lane with the slowest driver. Yeah, story of my life too, dude. Like it, it, it doesn't. I'll be in a lane, slowest lane. Yeah, I'll switch yeah, yeah. lanes. All of a sudden, that becomes the slowest lane. Thousand percent. Go back over, slowest lane. And it's it's a daily occurrence. It could be every lane I'm in throughout the day, but it's at least once throughout the day. It's never fucking fails. Oh, I get it. And then you get to the red light, and then the train comes, and the, oh, you don't have that problem anymore. Yeah, but um, I've had it. I've experienced oh, yeah. it. I get it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, How about you? See, what would you? What would you well, say? Well, see, my first thought was I don't. I don't really. I don't think it's a good answer. But my first thought was um, putting others how do I uh, like putting other people above me as far as like putting someone thinking. else's needs before yourself. Right. 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 Um, but I don't think that's a good answer for that question. That's just nah. my first, that was my first thought. Okay. Um, I mean, it's a great answer as far yeah, as your yeah. character, but as far as the people listening to this, they don't want to hear that shit. Nah, who cares? They want to hear what, what level of vibrator you can tolerate. 10. Uh, <laughs> I would say I am the best at measuring out ingredients without using like a measuring Ooh, cup or spoon. Yeah, that's a good one. I'm probably I'm fucking tablespoon. Got it. Bam. Yeah. I don't know if I'm good at that, but I'm good at like when it comes to things like that, as long as it's not like some some super intricate fucking recipe or something like that if it's just like something basic and it's like a cup of this three tablespoons of this like i just whip it and it like mm -hmm. it tastes great i don't know if i'm measuring exactly that like i can't say that i'm great at doing it without doing it i just yeah. know that it, it tastes good so i'm assuming well, so <laughs> and my problem is typically when i'm cooking um and i love to cook but typically when i'm cooking I'm having a couple beers and I have a podcast on. And I'm just having a good time. So it doesn't really matter <laughs> at the end. I'm like, oh, this is this is yeah, great. Yeah, it. It's good. But enough. if I gave this tastes really good. But if I gave it to somebody who's like just coming in off the streets, <laughs> like, here, try this thing I just made. They're gonna go, Right. Why is it so this salty? Garlicky. <laughs> uh, yeah. Like, what the fuck is this? And I'm like, hell yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> uh this is this is literally a I container killed it. of old bay. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Man, I so I made um it was actually just two days ago. I made crab cakes. Ooh. And in, and in Florida, really you can only buy, you know, some brands. You can buy either um, claw meat or you can buy like like backfin meat, um, but it's the all just stuff, it's yeah. all just either canned or like in like a plastic sealed container. And then you or know the I did I did shit yeah or the imitation. So I got real crab at least, but and and I did my recipe that back when I lived in Maryland was awesome, and now it's like it's just when you buy this non Maryland blue crab crab, it's like uh, it's only going to be so good. It doesn't have the sweetness. It's a lot yeah. more fishy. It's just not as good. Not as good. 
Hence, hmm. uh, well, let me get into my. Yeah, what do you got? So, uh, ask Reddit. I tried to go through. Um, I wanted to do like a like a top. You can filter it. You know, top this month, top right. this week. And I tried to do top all time, and it didn't work because it was a lot of like, how do I get my post to get likes and like this nah. stuff? It was, it was weird. Um, but I like this one because it kind of pairs with yours a little bit. Um, and okay. it was. Um, so for Ask Reddit, you get paired with a hundred random humans. If you're better than all of them at something, you get a billion dollars. What are you choosing? Okay, a hundred random. Random. So it could be from the whole globe, a hundred random humans. Okay. What'd they say? So those answers are, let me take a drink. Guessing what brake pad belongs to a car. So many years working at a car repair shop, I have benefits. Um, Not bragging, but I've spent years training to spit toothpaste directly into the sinkhole with no splashback or paste getting on the rest of the sink bowl. Bullseye every time. <laughs> so stop there. <laughs> yeah. Now, when they say... I've been training. Are they brushing their teeth like far more than necessary? Just to it do that. It sounds like it. Or like is it six, every time six, they, seven, eight times a day? Yeah, or like, is it just yeah. they brush their teeth and every time it's like, okay, I'm I'm going for the hole? Because that's, that's a good like question. that'd be like that's experience, not not training. I feel like training is like every hour on the hour, you're in there with your Colgate mm -hmm. ready to go. Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry, continue. Uh properly operating a nuclear reactor. Okay, well, yeah, that's, I guess okay. if you have certain skills, yeah. Um, ice hockey, most people know how to skate, let alone play. That's a good one. Um, shitting my pants on Sunday, April 14th, 2024. At noon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, hard to beat that one. There's going to be some other dude in there from like Korea who's like, mm, want to bet? <laughs> uh, we got navigation with only a compass and a terrain map. Let's see. How about disappointing my parents? <laughs> Ooh, I like that's it. Good um knowledge on wisconsin license plate history <laughs> okay um, they're so random but that's the point it's like it's got to be like this very niche specific yeah. self-deprivation no so i'm sorry self-deprecation <laughs> although i probably suck at that too um <laughs> emo song lyrics from 2003 to 2007 uh, like if like fallout boy he says if anyone beats me i'll marry them um well, i'm not gay and married Okay. Skeet shooting, uh, counting in binary. Well, I'll have to give it to him because a lot of these, I'd say 90% of them, I'm not giving anyone a run for their money. No, not a chance. Um, if maybe, it's 100... maybe operating a nuclear reactor, I could. Mm. That No, no. <laughs> David. <laughs> I was gonna say, I've, seen the, I've seen the intro to The Simpsons enough times to know that you pretty much just have to lean back in your chair and right. eat some donuts. Home. and Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Put in an IV line in somebody. Okay, so what yeah. would your um, – you get a billion dollars, but it has to be – you're guaranteed to be the best <clears throat> out of all 100 random people. Well, 99, you're the 100th out of all those okay. people. The first thing that came to mind – the first thing that came to mind while you were reading them was like smoking ribs, and then you had said globally, and I'm sure there's people in other countries that like they probably smoke ribs under their – fucking mattress or something like that and they're like the most delicious thing in the fucking world uh then i thought of like making river tables and shit like that because that's not a very right 100 people out of how many billion yeah. are on the planet uh but i think <laughs> just all these things were like flashing through my head as you were reading them i think i settled on being able to statistically back up why peyton manning's better than tom brady it seems like a little bit of a scapegoat answer but i like it is it though? i like it I, no, I'm not mad at it um, at all. I mean, my first was golf. I figured with 100 random people, I'm probably going to be the best golfer. Even if there's like 30 um, Japanese people there? They're good at everything. <laughs> that was my first thought is not a lot of people are good at golf. Um, and if okay. I had 100 random people out of a billions and billions of people, that'd probably be where I went. Um, okay. If I had to pick another to get a billion dollars that I'm better than a hundred random people at. Ooh, I would say knowing every word to the song should have been a cowboy by Toby Keith. Oh, okay. you know what? <laughs> knowing and rapping the lyrics to, uh, <laughs> the Austin powers twist on <laughs> the Austin uh, just powers the two rap, of us, the, just the two of us rap by yeah, Dr. Evil. Yeah. I'll, I'll give you a million dollars in my bank 100%. account. 
got it. hundred <laughs> percent. That's great. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the answers I'm looking for. Like what's the one thing that you know or could do that's like, no yeah. one else could do that. I think that's what they were going for. And then people kind of sort of, got you'd a be bit like, off of it. I feel like there's a lot of scapegoats for that. Right? You do like knowledge of my birth weight. Or yeah, like exactly. What's my mom's my social name? security number? Yeah, right. yeah. 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 That's true too. That's a good point. Um, but I guess if it's Kinda, like if it had to be like a common thing, mine I'd, would be golf. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'd go with the uh, the the woodworking and epoxy. Yeah, I thing. think that's a good one because yeah, yeah, they're not. I feel nine like the, times the, out of ten, the Peyton Manning thing's a little too specific. Yeah, a little but, bit. Okay. <laughs> kind of like my Austin Powers rap, a little too specific. Yeah. Um. So okay. I want to seg- segue that into the brand new card game. Um. That I paid. It was six it was, cents. It was 99% off, and it's as sad as it is because I love the company that this came from, um, which was Rooster Teeth, who just sadly had to shut their doors um, and kind of did a full clearance sale on all their merchandise. Um, but there's a card game of million dollars, but there's a couple cards in there. One or two. And the way that the game works is the black card. I don't is know if the, you're allowed to say that. Is the scenario card, and then the gold card is the... The follow through with it. So $4 million as the black card, but gold card is the scenario. So, well, how many black cards are there? Uh, I'd say a third of the box is black and three fourths is gold. Do they all, are they just a different dollar amount on each? No, they're all million dollars, but, um, and the rules came with several different games you can play out of it. So um, each of the black cards says a million dollars, but n- yes, but with different questions in front of it. And then the scenarios on the gold card. Let me give you an example. Please. Okay. Let me pull a random one out of here. Black card says million dollars, but anytime you change time zones and then you pick a gold card. Okay. Got it. A random kid claims you are their parent and violently cries when you try to deny it. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't a great one. I, yeah. do it. I mean, it was a good one. I just, I don't change. Yeah. I mean, if you have like a, like a business, you're man, traveling a lot. Yeah. 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 No, I'd. I don't change time zones often. So here's a good one. Well, hold on. So read read the the last gold card again. Uh, A random kid claims you are their parent and violently cries when you try to deny it. Okay, so we need to we need to elaborate. I'm not your dad. Right, but okay. So I'm I'm in my car. I'm going down I-10 east to west to visit the Panhandle. Okay. Where is that? Is that like a random kid in Montana that just in the middle of a Walmart starts screaming like, where's David? Does he just appear in my car? Well, it says when you try to deny it. So maybe the first kid that you You run across or see. Yeah. Okay. So maybe you stop at the gas station for a Red Bull and you go in and there's a kid in there. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. That that wasn't a great one, but still good. Um, How about a million dollars? But every time you shake someone's hand. You must impersonate the next person you talk to for the duration of the conversation. Yeah. I'll yeah, just avoid I'd definitely do that for a million hands, dollars. Yeah. yeah. Or right, just oh, not, sorry, man. I just went to the bathroom. I don't want to. <laughs> or just after I shake their hand, not talk to anybody because then I don't have to do, you know. Well, that, well you're going to not talk to anybody for the rest oh, of the you know life. what? You know what? Yeah, you're right. Just instead of they go to reach out for a hand, be like, no, nah, let's fist bump it. Or let's, you know, yeah, nah, yeah. bring it in for a hug, my guy. Like Plenty, yeah, yeah. plenty of loopholes. Okay. Plenty of loopholes there. But what if I paid you a million dollars, David, but whenever you absentmindedly stare, your parents show up and bare ass spank you on the spot? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. You were just staring right there. I just saw yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> and I, I can't tell you how many times a day I do that. <laughs> You'd have a red ass, dude. Like any, yeah, that, that's a hard no. Because that's a hard. Anytime no. I'm like, I try to avoid awkwardness the best I can. Okay. So if I'm ever like talking to someone and I'm right. like, I need to pause to think. It's you're not thinking. You're just blanking out. No, I'm thinking, but I don't want to like stare at them and be like, yeah. So I went and I, I went to grab this fucking whatever so instead i'll like look up and i feel like that classifies as absent-mindedly yeah yeah, yeah. no i'm not i can I'm not, see that I'm not, not taking that one you're not taking that one at all no nah. million bucks huh no nah. well what if i paid you a million and instead every time you cut yourself oh <laughs> mr woodworking over here 
Let's see what the gold has to I say. Cut myself on a, a fucking <laughs> aluminum can the other day. Every time you cut yourself, your shoes get tied together. <laughs> it's funny because the amount That's of times so, that, they're both so annoying. That well, and the amount of times that happens during woodworking, you're typically around tools that it's not a good idea to like trip have open over or onto like, yeah oh yeah like, yeah, like if i yeah, cut yeah. myself on a tool i'm just gonna step away and trip so, and fall on a fucking table saw or i something. thought you were saying oh i'll just wear like slides all the time or like flip-flops or something or <laughs> it's it's so funny because i do anyway <laughs> the only the only time that i've worn sho- since i've lived here since october the only time that i've worn shoes that tie it was your outside of going to work were the wedding and mowing the lawn and maybe like a couple times going out when it was when it was chilly out but yeah. so that one wouldn't be too bad so you'd take that one then because you're not wearing shoes that are tied whenever you're well <sighs> what were they gonna do cross the velcros and you know no i'm just i feel like there's enough yeah I'd, I'd probably take that am i so am i knowledgeable of it like do i know if i cut myself like ah, well fuck my shoes are tied that, yeah. like it's not an easy fix i just bend yeah. down and yeah you know what's coming okay yeah, yeah. then yeah I'll, I'll take it okay how about um, you get a million dollars, but whenever you commit one of the seven deadly sins, you have to eat one of your own body parts, but it will grow back. Hmm. It'll grow. Does it say how long? Are you it Googling takes? what they are? Yeah. Does it, <laughs> does it say how long it takes them to grow back? It does not. They'll grow back. So I know off of memory, at least guilt, gluttony. Um, no. Well, no. no, no, no. I'm just thinking based off of uh, what's that movie? No, you, you're right, but it says gluttony, which is usually understood to include drunkenness. Oh, hell no. Fornication. <laughs> I have greed, sadness, wrath, vainglory or pride, greed, lust, envy, gluttony, wrath, and sloth. Yep. Damn. So that whole day I was watching Fallout, I would have just been eating my body parts. <laughs> oh, next episode, another toe. Another Here one. Here we go. <laughs> Did you, have you ever heard of these? The seven heavenly virtues. The seven heavenly virtues? So these are good things. Apparently, each of the seven deadly sins can be overcome with the seven heavenly virtues. All right, let me see if I can if I can get to heaven. Go ahead. Am I telling you? Yeah. Humility. Okay. Charity. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Chastity. Meaning? The state or practice of refraining from extramarital. Okay. So not cheating. Got it. Okay. It's like the opposite of adultery. But then that's the next one? No, the next one's gratitude. Okay. Yeah. I got this. Temperance. Got this. Yep. For sure. Patience. Middle name, dude. <laughs> and and diligence. I think I'm like six or seven. That's not bad. Million dollars, David. But whenever you enter a building you've never been in before, you must call the person you're talking to, daddy, and sit on their lap. No. <laughs> No. <laughs> you know it's a hard no from David when when you get like that accentuated no no, no. you you realize a I've lived here for seven months so there's almost an infinite number of buildings that I'm gonna go into that I've never been in I'm also having a child it could also which be means a I'm gonna go into you have to even, call daddy right which which means I'm I'm gonna go into even more buildings that I've never been in before uh, and then when yeah. she's old enough. We're going to walk in all these buildings together, and she's going to see gonna me start get on it. some dude's lap and <laughs> no, call she's Santa gonna Claus. Do it. She's going to do it when she's in elementary school. I saw my daddy do it. I want to yeah. call you daddy. I did it. The teacher's going to be like, <laughs> what the fuck are you doing on my lap? Mm. That was a yeah, really no, bad that's, one. That's, that's a no. <laughs> Tempting, but no. Now, billion, maybe, <sighs> but million, uh uh-uh. Even for a billion, I would just go, I've never been in there. I'm not going in. Well, I'd, I'd have a billion. I'd be like... I feel like everybody's lap I could sit on, I'd be like, here's a thousand dollars. Like, just don't talk about this. No, I mean, just don't go into buildings that you don't need to. to. Well, if you do, yeah, then you pull out the, hey, here's right. this. I got to do this thing, though. I know I know, we're old, but we ain't that old. There's going to be a lot of buildings that we go into. <laughs> be a lot of buildings. Imagine you get married and the girl that you're marrying wants to get married in a church. And you got to like sit on the fucking pastor's lap. Oh, who on the father's lap? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm going to pass on that one. I think it's a good pass. Yeah. It's a good pass. Okay. Well, what a, what a great game. So thank you, Rooster Teeth, for uh, yeah, this I got, I got some $1 game. Hi, everyone. 
I just wanted to take a second to ask that you all hit those like and subscribe buttons, or if you're an audio listener, go ahead and give the guys five stars. Thanks for listening. Now back to the Poor Choices show. Can you guess the top five rivalries in sports according to the top tens? Um, of are you all asking time? if I can, or should I? Or are you asking? Do you want? I'm to try? asking you to try. Okay. Um, all all of the like the top four sports. The the biggest rivalries in the history of sports. Oh, okay. There's gonna be some fucking cricket team on there or something. All right. Um, <clears throat> um, is one of them soccer? Yes. Is it Liverpool, Manchester United? It is not. Is it Chelsea, Manchester United? It is not. Is it Manchester City, Manchester United? It is not. It is, is not it Manchester United. Is it Liverpool, Chelsea? It is not either of those. Is it an English football team? Yes. Against another English football team? I think so. I don't know shit about soccer. I'm assuming FC means yes. Football club, yeah. Yeah. Um, And they're definitely from England. No. One's is not. It, is it... Is it Barcelona, Real Madrid? It is. Okay. All right. Fuck. That's number um, one. Is it really? Wow. It is. Okay. I'm glad I started there. Um, Yankees, Red Sox. That's number four. Okay. Um, ooh. I'm rooting for you on the sweep, but yeah, it's not going to happen. I know. I know it's not. One of them's football. One of them's not football, correct? Well, you have three. One of them's football. Two of them are not football. Okay. Um, I'm going to go Packers, Bears. That's not. That's number eight on the list. Shit. Um, shit. I really thought that was it. Um, I'm gonna go Cowboys Redskins. That didn't crack top ten. Didn't crack top ten. When you're thinking football, um, expand your horizon a little bit. Ugh, ugh. I don't want to. That means don't limit it to the league that you're limiting it to. The NFL? What? Some Canadian football league? Like what the fuck are you talking about? Where do you go before the NFL? Oh, uh, is it? Um. Ooh, there's so many. Yeah, um, I feel like this is the this is the one. So many. Um, I don't want to not get it. So let me think. You can linger few... on it. Maybe maybe hit the non football ones. Okay. Um, so we did baseball. We did uh, soccer, basketball, and hockey. Um, Lakers, Celtics. That's number six on the list. What the fuck? That's it. That's the NBA. That's it. NBA didn't crack top five. Oh, that sucks. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. Um, what about NBA is not in there. Hockey rivalry. Um, Red Wings. Mm? No, no Red Wings. Um, okay. Okay. <laughs> I was letting you do the the uh, last episode when I said nineteen. Yeah, he's and like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. is one of them hockey. One of them is hockey. Is it Rangers Islanders? That's number nine. To be honest, I don't I don't know why this one is a rivalry. Are they both from the same country? If that makes no. sense. Okay, Minnesota Calgary, Minnesota mm-hmm. Ottawa. No, it's not. It's not Minnesota. Oh shit. Or, was or it, Ottawa. Or Calgary. What? Or what? Uh, you got to give me that. I don't follow hockey. What are the team names? It's the Flames. Calgary oh, no. Flames. You know what? I think I do know where they're from. So, no, nothing you just said was right. Okay. But one of them's from Canada. Correct. Maple Leaves? No. Think, Canucks? Think. Canucks? Think Canada. Yeah, I get it. I don't oh, know. the Canadians. There you go. Okay. Um, Versus the, uh, it's not the Red Wings. Flyers? Nope. Penguins. Nope. Uh Bruins. The other the other city we there you go. The Bruins. Okay. Bruins and Canadians. Canadians. Number five. So you're just missing number three. Which is football. Oh no, no. Sorry. You're missing two and three. Two Shit. is football. What's three? Baseball? Badminton? It's badminton, isn't it? Is it tennis? <laughs> it's cricket. I fucking knew it. <laughs> I know you did. <laughs> I knew it. I don't know. <laughs> The Sherpas versus the Dalai Lamas? I don't know. Countries. India versus Pakistan. (laughs) India versus Pakistan, number three. (laughs) Yeah, boy. (laughs) Oh, shit. That's really funny. Those are the only two countries I could think of. They might be the only ones that play cricket, and that's why they're the biggest rivals. 
That's awesome. Um, and then football. <laughs> this dude out here, out here nailing cricket rivalries, but can't guess the, the biggest college football rivalry. Uh, is Notre Dame one of them? <laughs> no, Notre Dame USC is number 10, though. Okay. Okay. Is it Ohio State, Michigan? It is Ohio State, Michigan. Okay. Okay. I was between that and Alabama, Auburn. I wasn't sure what. That was on another list I saw that was, it was high. It made top 10, top 15. Okay. But I, all right. I'm, yeah. I'm not too mad at that. That ain't bad. Well, you, so you hit all the top 10 except one. Do you want to guess number seven that you missed? I give you a clue. I'll give it away. Well, what sport is it? College basketball. Duke, North Carolina. That's it. Good job. Yeah, that's Look yeah. you. Okay. Well, you were shooting for five, and you you hit ten. That's so funny that you said <laughs> it's probably some some fucking cricket team or something. All right, Christopher, you ready for some fast money? Shit, I must be in trouble. You called me Christopher, but let's do it. All right. What does Steve say? Sixty seconds on the clock. You take as much time as you want to answer because I'm gonna edit this shit anyway. <laughs> okay. But don't take too long. Okay. Name a way a man might greet his lover that he should never greet his mom. Hey, babe. Name something Santa Claus hopes is waiting for him when he returns on Christmas Eve. Pussy. If you could fly like a bird, name something you might poop on. Joe Biden. Name a type of pole you'd be surprised to see at the North Pole. Stripper pole. Name a reason a snail might complain about his shell. Stanks. I know all the right answers, but I'm just going with Going with it. All right. Yeah. We asked you, name a way a man might greet his lover that he should never greet his mother. And you answered, hey, babe. Hey, babe, hey. We'll give you number one, hi, sexy lover. Thanks, Steve. For 35 points. Okay. I know we got a zero coming up real quick. <laughs> right, a couple of them. <laughs> yeah. Next, we ask you, name uh-huh. something Santa Claus hopes is waiting for him when he returns on Christmas Eve. You All answered, right, so, pussy. Yeah. <laughs> A we'll kiss get, or I'll, I'll, like loving from Mrs. Claus. Like I'll a, give you a welcome home. I'll give you nude Mrs. Claus. Oh, oh, oh. for thirty-five points. Oh, damn! We had seventy already. Number one was more cookies and food. I thought it would be like a like a hot bath or something, or like a shower. Like for two points, there was Pepto or another antacid. Oh, yeah, that's a good answer. Even though it's only two points, okay. We then, we then asked you, if you could fly like a bird, name something you might poop on. You answered Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> Number one answer is people slash politician for 72 points. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Yo, I'm already at 142. You're going to break a fuckload here. Oof. All right. All right. Next, we asked you, name a type of pole you'd be surprised to see at the North Pole. Gotta be You answered a stripper pole. Go ahead. Go ahead. Number one answer for 75 points. (laughs) Yo, Steve, (laughs) sign me up. (laughs) We then asked you, name a reason a snail might complain about a shell. You answered, it stanks. A stank. Now, I know the number one answer is too small, but... Go ahead. But you still got points with the okay. number three answer. You got six points. It looks like 223 points. Remember how I prefaced this with how burn, I'm really baby, bad burn. at this? Damn. Damn. Sign me up, Steve. So you said you knew you knew all the <laughs> right answers, but well, you wanted to go with the funny answers. It looks like you killed two I birds mean, with one stone. Tell you what. <laughs> how many points was Joe Biden? 74 72. points? Jesus. Well, people politician. and or politician. All right, Chris, it's that time again. I have some more Florida man news headlines. I didn't do that good the first time. so You didn't, okay. but you know what? The shorts did, so. Okay, go ahead. I'm ready. I'm going to give you some Florida man news headlines, and you need to tell me whether they are real or fake. How many are you going to give me? I want to give myself a goal to get a correct amount. I'm going to give you 10 total. I want to get six. That's my goal is six. Okay. All right. The first one, Florida woman calls for sugar daddy appreciation day at board meeting. Mm, Could be both. I'm going to say it's real. (laughs) I'm going to say it's real. It could be both. That is real. Yes. I wanted to expedite this one a little bit so I didn't get the background stories on each of them. It would, it's going to make my short editing a lot easier. Yeah. yeah. So one for one. Next one. 
Florida man challenges neighborhood watch with his army of remote controlled lawnmowers. He challenges them. So neighborhood watch is out. He's like, hey, coming at you with my remote control. Well, they already have like Roomba lawnmowers. So that's already a thing. Right. But he's I think what they're saying is he challenges like he's got an army of them and he just I don't know. I didn't read the whole. I'm going to go with fake. That is fake. You're two for two. Yes. Okay. Florida man caught painting stripes on horses to create budget zebras. <laughs> I'm going real. That one is fake. Damn. Budget zebras. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The next one is Florida man attempts to set world record for most mosquito bites at a single time. Why? Um, Real. Real. That one is fake. Damn it. So we're, we're two and two. That okay. reminds me of a video I saw. I don't know if it was a reel or a short or whatever, but it was like this dude, just like a video of his arm, and there was like four or five bees like stinging him, and it was like focused on this one bee like pulling out of him, and there was like this little like dangly goo like from from his ass to the stinger, and I was like, never, why, why ne- would you never do that? never pull out, never, never pull out? Well, I think that's like their mo. I think that's kind of what they live for. It's All a right, rough life. <laughs> okay, next one. Florida man on drugs kills imaginary friend, turns himself in. Real. <laughs> that is real. <laughs> yeah, a thousand percent. That's easy. <laughs> All right, we're, we're three and two. Okay. Next one. Florida man tries to pawn stolen jewelry at store managed by woman whose home he just robbed. Mm, seems too good to be true. I'm going to go fake. That's real. <laughs> Wasn't too good to be true. Okay. Welcome to Florida. Three and three. Welcome to Florida. You wanted you wanted what? Six? Six out of ten. All right. So we need three out of the last four here. Okay. The next one is Florida man calls nine one one over missing beer so many times he gets arrested. Oh real. That is real. Yeah. Good job. Four and three. I've thought about it too. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. The next one is Florida man opens DIY fireworks shop in his backyard, insists it's totally safe. Mm, eh, totally safe. <laughs> we'll say it's real. That one's fake. Damn it. It, it just seemed like a real thing. Yeah. Okay. So, so what am I, what? Four, four, four and four? Four and four, so you need these last two. Shit, okay. The next one, Florida man sues Chinese restaurant for failing to predict winning lottery numbers inside fortune cookie. <laughs> <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> Lucky dragon, how dare you? Um, <laughs> that was dragon house. Dragon House number one, Dragon House yeah. number two. Um, he sues him, huh? I'm going to say it's fake. That is fake. Okay. And last but not least, with your game on the line here. Yeah. Florida man calls 911 80 times to demand Kool-Aid hamburgers and weed. My man, real as it can be. <laughs> that is real. Good job. You yeah. hit the goal. <laughs> Six out of ten. I'm proud of you. That's good. It's funny because when you say Kool-Aid hamburgers, I didn't put the comma in my brain. So I was like, Kool-Aid hamburger. Kool-Aid uh, hamburger. And that caused you to go true? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, give me a Kool-Aid hamburger. You got to be weed. fucked up to be demanding Kool-Aid hamburgers. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well. Hell yeah. That's it. That's good. Let's, I, let's dude, go I love it. these. And ju- just as much as I love the feedback we get on the shorts, I love yeah. researching them. And yeah. e- even when I like chat GPT, the fake ones, I'm like, I'm so, like half tempted to look and see whether they are real or not. Cause they sound so real. My favorite one, even though it was fake was Florida man collects sand dollars and tries to pass them off as beach, beach currency. currency. Yeah. I was dying. That was, that was a good one. That's, I like the, uh, it, it seems so real, but it's also fucking hilarious. I like the, uh, <laughs> the Florida woman, something with a sprinkler thinking she found the fountain of youth one. <laughs> Was, no, ma'am, you're just on the was, seventh hole. I'm just like, oh, <laughs> meth is a powerful thing. Uh, oh, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm. Well, fuck every single esports kid that ever lived and is yet to live. Except. Nope. Fuck them all. Peace, bitches. <laughs>